Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And if you haven't seen one of these before, this is the Striker Magnetic Light Mine. It's a small little utility type light, LED light. You can see a little switch there, it turns on sort of a non-directional 15 lumen light. Um, and it has a dozen neodymium magnets sticking out of these points. It's kind of a dodecahedron thing. And it has uh, onboard three little uh, LR44 batteries, which you kind of think it might be possible to change, but pretty much you have to break the thing open. There's a little notch here, but it seems to be glued shut. Um, you get supposedly 10 hours of runtime, but I imagine you get a couple hours and then it starts to you know wear down. Because those are like tiny little, not, not full on watch batteries, but the LR44s are pretty small. They're used in a lot of laser pointers and things like that. But this idea has a lot of evolution ahead of it, hopefully. It is patented apparently, Striker, um, which now it used to be S-T-R-I-K-E-R, I think, uh, now calls themselves S-T-K-R. Um, I guess they got rebranded. But this little guy here is, is in their product line of unique lighting. Um, and it just seems like something that should be way better. And I'm used to, you know, it's part of this channel, looking at unique lighting. I mean, like Olight's Goober or Gober, um, kind of a neat little thing, but they're USB um, rechargeable. Got a different adapters for this thing if you haven't seen one of these goobers. Um, it's kind of an interesting um, little way of doing stuff with lighting. This is the Night Core um, tube. It's got a little light. This is kind of a non specific light, similar to this. It'd be great on a key ring or something if you just need to basically illuminate a door handle or maybe a step. Uh, more powerful. Once you start going into lenses and reflectors, this little stream light here. Um, you know, Olight has been pushing it with pens, you know, with super high powerful small lights. Um, here's an old school Princeton Tech. I used to carry these on my key rings, um, long dead. Um, keep it around for videos like this. Takes a coin like a 2032, but very similar. I mean, it's ancient, but you can see those two LEDs there are very similar. Just a I mean, you could build one. It looks like a high school science project. Um, you know, another small Olight stream or um, Surefire started exploring kind of this unique smaller key chase, chain space. Obviously, with the arc feld and the streamlight wedge, exploring different shapes. Um, you know, super high power. I think this is this is uh, like thirteen thousand lumens. Um, for this little guy here, this um, amalant. Um, yeah, 13,000 lumens. This thing, I'll, I've got a video coming up, is just wild, crazy light. Uh, Rovivon has all kinds of weird shapes. So this thing's been around, like I said, you know, almost a decade and a half or maybe. Why is it still like this? Why does it still not have, you know, USB charging and maybe a better LED? Um, if you contact the company about the batteries, they, they say, yeah, sure, they might be, you know, able to be replaced if you can crack the thing open without breaking it. Um, but it'd probably be cheaper to just buy a whole new one of these. Well, why would we even do that? In fact, why would we even buy one in the first place? It's a novel idea, you know, that, that uh, dozen different possible um, attachment points is great. Um, it also, of course, can sit in all sorts of different positions. That's what um, I mostly, when I play around with it, use it for, um, because it's surprising how many things aren't really um, ferrous anymore or don't have enough iron in them to um, uh, be able to hold something on with a small neodymium magnet. And these aren't even the greatest neodymium magnets. They're not super strong compared to some. They do have enough to hold it, but you can see here, you know, I am able to lift this. So it's it's good enough, but I wouldn't put it in any position where it might get bumped or something because you'll easily topple it off because the surface area of contact is so small that once it starts moving a little bit with the lever arm of the side, it's going to pry that up and then you've got even less contact and magnetic fields diminish with distance rapidly. So then it'll pop right off. But 
this is one of those things that somebody should be making a much nicer one. There is a pro version that's a lot bigger. Um, it takes three AA batteries. It's like, uh, why are we still doing that? Um, why aren't we using rechargeables? But um, I've often wanted uh, the actual concept of a light mine where literally, and they do make some things like this that you can turn on and roll into a, uh, a room to light up the room. Um, anyway, if you haven't seen one, there it is. If you have seen one, yes, they're still around. And as far as I can tell, they're no better than they were 15 years ago. So it'd be nice if uh, somebody would grab a hold of this, you know, some innovative company and, and uh, start uh, updating it to something that would be really useful today. Let me know if you've used one or have one or wondered about it or, um, you know, wish it would be updated because maybe the, the manufacturers will notice. And with that, Doc out.